To finish this section, I want you to do an exercise. Remember that when we file a letter, we, we need to show which letter have we failed on a text view that we have here with red text. So that is going to be the exercise. Try to show this letter when we fail a letter and then come back to see the solution. Okay, let's see how it's done. Remember that we have the text view here, create somewhere. So we need to change the ID for text view or use the same ID that it has. I'm just going to use the same ID that we have, text view 6. So in the game activity, now every time we file a letter, we need to display that letter. So what are we going to do? We are going to retrieve the text view from the view and then we are going to set that text into the text view. So I'm going to fill my text view. I need a casting here as you know and then to the text view I'm going to use the method set text and I am going to set the letter that we have failed. But for that we need to know which letter is and we don't have this the letter on this method. So we are going to modify this method to accept a letter or a string in this case. String letter fail. And when we fail the letter on this method, which will be the chart introduced, but it needs to be on a string. So let's make character to a string chart introduced. Okay. Now we are sending the letter as a string. Remember that the letter introduced is of the type chart but I want it to be a string. So I use the method from character, character to a string, as we have seen before. So now I have one method which receives a letter, so I just need to set on the text the letter that we have here. I fail with one letter and it shows me the fail. I fail with a different letter and it doesn't show me the previous one. What's happening? We are setting the text of the letter fail, but we are not adding that letter to the previous letter. So what are we going to do here? We are going to retrieve the value that we had before, the previous fail, and this value is going to be on the text view. Get text to a string. Okay. Now, every time that we put a letter, we are going to use the previous value that we have, and we are going to add to that the new letter. 